Asia Pacific hosts over uh, 20 of the uh, world's uh, uh, mega cities, right? And 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 uh, 60 percent of the region's urbanites live in urban areas with populations of less than one million. So the human dimensions of urbanization and climate change, especially its impact on the uh, daily challenges of the urban poor in terms of uh, employment, livelihoods, safety, health, housing, and access to basic services are critical. While 31% of India's population live in urban areas as per census 2011, this number is expected to grow to 40% by 2030, with a contribution of 75% of India's GDP. Large section of society are migrating to urban areas for better job opportunities and quality of life from rural areas. These cities need to provide a receptive, innovative, and productive environment which can promote faster and sustainable growth, ensuring a better quality of living. Hence, it is imperative to have a comprehensive strategy to fulfill the rising demand in the housing sector. Housing, and especially affordable housing, is a fairly complex subject, right? Why? Because it involves land, right? The land availability is a critical one, right? So where, I mean, so you have to understand how, so money as in just liquidity money or getting construction finance is one aspect, right? But if you are building the home, you have to look at other aspects that are just not even discussed, right? So for example, land, where is the land available right now? At what cost to the developer or anyone building these affordable homes, right? And so the, there has to be structures in place to also look at the land cost. Anytime we're talking about housing or, you know, we should we should talk about green affordable housing. Like it should just be, you know, hand in hand with the delivery of uh, affordable homes. Having said that, in India, currently the penetration of green is very unfortunate and it's only about 5%. I think the, di the discussion is not whether green should be done because it's a pull from the customers, right? I mean, I think it should be something that's done because the developers also see uh, a brand positioning in that. They see a, a sort of a corporate commitment on that. Green affordable housing does not cost more and it's good for you. It's good for the planet. And we all have to work together as an ecosystem to deliver it. If we keep saying that, you know, it should be a consumer or the developer should do it or there is not enough financial instruments or the government should do it, we'll be talking about the same things again another 10 years from now. And probably the problem would be even worse than what we're living now, right? So the climate change is there. We have to tackle it collectively and we can.